Hey everybody, it's me, Bigham Stevens again, and uh, I'm gonna show you day two of the process. This will be my second time recording this video since uh, I thought I had it on uh, record mode and it was actually on photo mode. So I took pictures of my hands this morning. Well, it's 6 p.m. It's the same process. You can see there's two more trays here. I've added uh, broccoli and I've also added sunflower seeds to this process because I want to try three, four different things. I have, a, as you can see, I've got the the uh, aquaponics kit up and running. I'm putting it through its paces and trying to figure out how the timing system works. I really don't have a clue. It's not seemed to work before. So I've, I've adjusted a few things to see if it'll uh, actually work. It's supposed to go off at seven and it's 6 p.m. now, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, there's four slots, spots, in which I can put these 1020 trays on. As you can see, they're pretty much marked out. So I figured why not just do four trays? Just experiment with four different kinds of crops and see how this goes. Well, anyway, here's what we do. You take the brick off here, just like you did at the start. You lift this up, hopefully nothing sticks to it. Yep, nothing sticking to it. And it looks like I might have a sprout already starting right there. Everything looks fine. And all you do, spray her down, just like I did at the start. Now, normally you do like 10 to 20 sprays. I'm just gonna go until I think it's wet. Cause uh, moisture is real important to this process apparently. Oh, there's another sprout. No, or yeah, it looks like another sprout. Anyway, that's that for that one. Sit it back on here. Put the brick on top. And in case you're wondering why I put bricks on these, apparently the process to simulate the uh, seeds being buried, having to force their way up out of the ground. Oh, I got some stuck on there. Eat off there. It's supposed to simulate the process of the seed having to break through the ground. So that way it gets rid of its shell casing. Which makes sense to me, I suppose. Uh, this is sort of bothersome. All these seeds right here. See, I'm going to be guilty of this for the entire time. I have a uh, fixation on making things even and balanced. So I'm constantly going to be touching these things and messing stuff up. Anyway, that one's wet. But this is just like the nutrient solution and water mixed together. Spray her down until I think I got them all coated. Put it back on there. See, I've heard that this process isn't so important, the brick process, to things with, uh, with like like peas. I heard that that wasn't a big deal with them since the casing of a pea is a lot softer than the casing of sunflower seeds, which I got in here. But I figure I might as well get in the habit of doing it to all of them because I'm not sure it'll hurt them at all. Bring them on down. Yeah, it won't hurt the plant either way because seeds are normally under the ground in nature when they sprout. Spray it down. Put the brick on there. This brick is way lighter. I probably should use this heavy brick for the sunflower seeds since they need it most. Last one is the broccoli seeds I planted. Get off of there. The broccoli seeds I planted. Spray them down with the nutrients. And as they say, it's, oh yeah, I can smell, they'll smell like broccoli somehow. <laughs> yeah, it sort of smells like broccoli already. So I got peas, radishes, sunflowers, and broccoli. And there you go. Another day down. They don't look like they're doing much so far, and uh, normally I'd be in panic mode because I'm like, there's no change. But this is a learning process. So that's pretty much it for day two. I do this every six hours or every 12 hours, once at 6 a.m., once at 6 p.m. I come in here, do this after I've messed with my chickens and my ducks, and I'll let them free, and I come in here and do about five minutes of work, and that's it. So uh, I guess I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.